Hey guys, what's up? It's Steph here. I'm the Secrets Lob. In today's video, I'm going to share my weekly home blessing, how I link it up with my morning routines to get everything done super fast and super efficiently. I have three kids at home, aged four, two and three months old and so I am really busy and I don't have a lot of time to be cleaning my house. So how I get around it is just by fitting it into the nooks and crannies. If you are new to my channel, welcome. I'm so glad that you're here. And if you've been here for a while, then you know I base my cleaning routines off of the Fly Lady system. I started it about two years ago. I was a new mom, I had two little kids and I was a hot mess. I couldn't get anything cleaned up. I was totally overwhelmed. I was constantly calling my mom for help. And so I instituted these daily routines and weekly routines and it changed my life. Eventually, I found a way to make the Fly Lady system work for me as efficiently as possible. And so that is what I'm showing you here today. Every week, I complete a weekly home blessing hour. It consists of six tasks. They are changing your bed sheets, changing the garbages all over your house, polishing the mirrors, dusting, vacuuming, and mopping. And just the main areas of your house, not getting into nooks and crannies. We do deep cleaning at different times. That's just getting your house a really good once over. So I like to do my weekly home blessing in conjunction with my routines because if I'm gonna be in a room cleaning and tidying, I may as well link it up with something else. So you can see here, I'm doing a massive power tidy, which is on my daily routine checklist as I'm running around with my dusting mitt and getting the dusting done in every room. This is one way that I save a ton of time. I'm in there anyways, I just get it done. I make my own cleaning solution for dusting. It's basically just hot water with a teaspoon of dish soap in it and a few drops of lemon essential oil just to give it a nice smell. And I spray that on my dusting rag and it pretty much works for everything. And because I have little kids at home, I know that there's not a risk that they're going to get into any harsh or crazy chemicals. Although recently I've had to buy some of that because of the COVID crisis and I'm having to use some more disinfectants, but I keep them up really high. But for all of my basic cleaning, I use the soap and water mixture. I like to clean my house in a circle. I find it works best that way. So I basically move from room to room. I carry a laundry basket with me to pick up toys. That's the one big thing that's always scattered around our house. And I carry a second basket with me to pick up clothes because that is the second biggest thing that is always scattered around our house. The last place I always clean up is the kitchen because I tend to find bottles and dishes kind of scattered around. So I just kind of gather everything in the kitchen, giving it a wipe down now, but I'll save the dishes till the very end. You see my kids in these videos because I have three kids and they're here with me all the time. And even though this video looks like it's all filmed in one hour straight, it really is getting done over the course of a day, over a course of about five hours. I started around nine in the morning and I finished up around two in the afternoon. And that's just because I have to stop to feed them and play with them. I think we went outside for a walk this day too. So we're getting stuff done and I'm just working away at my chores little by little. Never feel discouraged if you can't make an hour straight cleaning. I don't know any mom with little kids that can actually get an hour to herself to do anything. And if you can, do something for yourself, like take a bath, don't spend it cleaning. Just fit these little tasks in wherever you can. As I get into my bathroom, I'm going to do my daily swish and swipe, which is on my morning routine. So that's wiping down the counters and the toilet, and then I change the garbages and polish the mirrors. That gets me two weekly home blessing check marks and a morning routine check mark, all done in one. 
One thing I love about the weekly home blessing day is I don't make my bed in the morning. Instead, I strip the sheets off, throw them in the laundry, and that night I have fresh, clean sheets, and I get the laundry check mark and the make the bed check mark all in one. You can see I have my helper there. She's especially good at changing the garbages, and she always wants to help me out. Good job. So I'm just continuing my power tidy through the house. I'm up in my room now, tidying the books beside my bed. I always have two or three books on the go. And I'm not super good at putting my laundry in the laundry basket, so you can see there's some on the floor there, but it's all good, I'm getting it done now. I love using the swish and swipe technique to clean my bathrooms. I use a vinegar water mixture. Again, I make it myself and it works great. I use that on my mirrors and my bathrooms. Just I never use it on wood surfaces because I learned from this channel in the comments that it can actually break down wood surfaces. So I only use it in the bathrooms and on hard surfaces like that. I love this technique though because it keeps the bathrooms clean enough that they are super simple to wipe down and I never have to do that horrible, huge bathroom clean. I just give everything a spray and a wipe every couple days and it keeps it shining and looking great without too much effort at all. As part of the home blessing, I do pull the sheets off everyone's beds. It's really nice to change the sheets out once a week. You have fresh, clean sheets. The only one whose sheets sometimes don't get changed out on Mondays is the babies because he's sleeping in there so much. So I just do it whenever I get a chance and I have a second set for him. I don't have a second set of sheets for anyone else's beds. And that's just because I like to keep things simple. So that's how I do it. My kid's bathroom is usually the hardest one to clean because there's crusty toothpaste all over the sinks every single time. I know if you've got little kids, you feel my pain. I don't have mirrors in this bathroom because they don't really need them yet. And I figure it's one less thing for me to clean if I don't put mirrors up. So that's why we don't have mirrors in here. A few people have asked before. All right, so now I'm done the majority of my morning routine. The last thing I have to do is empty the dishwasher. And I usually do this first thing in the morning when my kids are having breakfast, but I put it off today and I'm doing it after lunch. No big deal, except for now you can see there's quite a pile of dishes that have stacked up. But I'm gonna get them done right now, really quick. All of my kids are having a sleep, and so it's easy for me to just power through this really fast. Because we're home all day, we actually make a lot of dishes and I have to run the dishwasher every single day. And also because of that, I do all of these odd shaped dishes by hand pretty much after every meal. If I do them after every meal, it's really easy. If I let them pile up like this, it takes a bit more time. But if I can keep the counters clean, it keeps my head so much clearer. I just love having clear counters. So these are the last two tasks on my weekly home blessing checklist. The first one is vacuuming the house. So again, just going through the main traffic areas. I'm not going to move furniture around. I'm not gonna be getting behind the couches or anything like that. This is just a once a week, once over your house, doing as best you can, as quickly as you can. I'm talking about hustle. I do deep clean, but that happens at a different time on different days. This gets my house to a place where it kind of stays maintained as best as I can. And when I'm too tired to do deep cleaning, this does just enough to keep it looking great. I have my third little helper up with me now. He loves the vacuum for some reason. Every time he gets upset, he just goes to sleep if I start vacuuming, so I never feel bad if I'm vacuuming near him. It just makes him calm right down. I don't know what it is, he just loves it. So I'm just, again, doing a really quick once over, getting all those crumbs, especially under where my kids eat. I do pull the dining room chairs out because under the table gets pretty bad, but for the most part, I just try to do it as quickly as possible.
I have a really fast trick for getting your floors mopped really quickly. Instead of pulling out a bucket with soapy water, I use my soap water spray bottle and I just spray the floors and then I mop behind it. I do start with a wet mop head, but I find this works really well, really fast. And if I wanna do deep cleaning, I'd get down on my hands and knees and get all the little nooks and crannies. But for the weekly home blessing, this works great and it's super fast. I don't need much supplies and I can pretty much start whenever I have time, which works great for me as a stay at home mom. I just don't have time to be setting up a bunch of cleaning supplies. It's the end of the afternoon now and our laundry is all finished. So I'm gonna just put these sheets back on the beds for my girls, make their beds, and then throw the sheets on my bed. I make my bed. I don't use throw pillows. I don't do anything fancy with my bed. And that's just because I found that the more simple I keep things, the more likely it is that I will clean them. Thank you guys so much for watching. It was so fun to have you along today and I hope you found it motivating and you'll get your weekly home blessing started right now if you haven't already gotten it done this week, which I know you have. Have a wonderful weekend. I hope you're able to get outside and get some fresh air or just spend time with people you love or doing something that you love to do. I will talk to you very soon. Please remember to hit that thumbs up button below and the red subscribe button. It really helps my channel grow and I really appreciate it.